Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a small review here on the HP Slate 500. So let's see how this one works. The Slate comes with a pen. It's Entrig, not Wacom. So it's a little different. It doesn't have an eraser. It does have another button. And it works similar, but not 100% the same. It's pretty okay for what it is. I'll show you guys how this one works. At the moment I have dual touch and I can show you guys how that works. With dual touch I can use my fingers and the pen. So let's try it out. Here's just a random website, Yahoo actually. And I'm using my fingers to scroll up and down. I can also use the pen if I wanted to. The pen I mostly use it for drawing and just writing down notes. But I'm going to use this a little different. Right now it's on dual mode. Which lets me use both the pen and my fingers, but for drawing purposes the pen only works better. Let's change it over. So let's see how drawing on the actual slate works out. I can show you guys how well it works on Sketchbook. It doesn't matter where you put your hand because I have it on pen only, so it won't read it at all, which is great because I like to drag my hand, even though the slate itself is quite small. My whole hand fits pretty much over it. Let's draw something real quick. It reads it very similar to Wacom, not 100%. On this program and on ArtRage, it works much better than it does in Photoshop. In Photoshop, you will see the skipping and. Uh, it gets a little annoying. I can use it to a point, but I like Art Rage and Sketchbook the best when you're sketching anyways. This is really quick just to show you guys that you can use it for sketching. and it has pressure and everything. It's actually really comfortable using it. Doing this pretty quick, especially because I'm holding the uh, camera with the other hand. But it works. It works well. Entrig actually did not mess up on this part. I just wish it had a better WinTab driver so it would work with uh, Photoshop a bit better. There's a quick sketch. You get a similar effect with um, ArtRage, which I can show you guys. Now let's try ArtRage to see how it works. I actually really like using ArtRage this way. So let's flip it. There you go. And fill the entire page. So you can see how it looks. It's relatively small, but it's pretty easy to sketch. But I gotta get rid of this whole section down here, so it makes it easier for me to sketch. What you do is you click on this button and you click on the screen. And it makes everything disappear. So you can use the whole screen, especially because it's such a small slate. We'll sketch something real quick as well. I love the way this program works. Very similar to the way colored pencils and some other stuff works.
really, really easy to work with this one. Really comfortable. Just responsive, which is really nice. If you wanted a tablet for on-the-go sketches, this, this one's excellent. Even though I do wish it had an eraser, because it'd be really easy to go like this. It doesn't, but you can get around kind of doing stuff. I mean, it has its limitations, but the size is fantastic. I mean, look how small it is. It's pretty nice, though. The weight is fantastic. Next to an iPad, it's actually really small. Let me show you a comparison. You can see the HP Slate, a little bit thinner, and the iPad. Differences? This one's actually a little bit heavier too. Oh, I keep flipping it. Sorry about that. But, there you can see the sizes. There's my hand on this one. There's my hand on that one. If you wanted to erase on ArtRidge, it's actually not a problem if you don't have an eraser. You just bring up your menus back. If I can bring them back. Come on. There we go. Grab the eraser. And of course you can erase. It's an extra step instead of having to flip it like you would with a Wacom, but it's not too bad. The pen feels a little different. It's a bit heavier because it does have a battery inside. The only thing that I really hate about this pen is that I actually already broke the top. You can kind of see it a little bit there. And I had to re-glue it back, so they're a little fragile, just this end, so be careful not to drop them on the floor like I did. But apart from that, it's actually not bad. I would totally suggest this little tablet for drawing. I mean, it's a fantastic little tablet. So, if you can actually find one, um, I would say you should grab one. You'd really like it, even though there are some limitations. The art programs that do work on it are Art Rage and Sketchbook Pro. Photoshop does work on it as well. Sadly, Sci and Open Canvas don't work at all. Well, they work, but they don't have the pressure sensitivity. I'm going to show you how Photoshop works. I'm actually using CS3 because it works better than CS5. CS5 was having some really strange problems. I already have the Win tab installed in it. I'm just going to pick a random size here. It works okay. Every once in a while it'll skip. Actually right now it's working pretty decent. It just depends on how you hold the pen. See there it skipped. It's only in Photoshop that it does it every once in a while. But it has pressure. I wouldn't suggest making it your main art program on this computer. I would mostly stick to Art Rage and Sketchbook, but it is usable. It works fine for some stuff. I can totally use it, so it just pretty much depends on what you really want to do. But it works. See, sometimes I won't read it. Sometimes it'll vectorize it as well. But if you have any questions on this, just ask. If you want to switch it back to just uh, pen and uh, finger mode, you can change it back to dual mode. Just put dual mode. And then you go to apply. And OK. And now, if you want to open stuff using your finger, you can. And that is it. So if you have any questions, just ask, and I hope this helped a little bit. Thanks for watching.